The title says it all. Here are five essential gestures and two useful tips in portfolio trades that you might find helpful. The first one you might be familiar with already, and that is to double tap with two fingers to undo like this. So anytime you are drawing something, you can use two fingers to double tap to undo. Or number two, three fingers to redo. Shortcut number three is whenever you're using a ruler, you can also use double tap to rotate the ruler 90 degrees. If you're using a triangular ruler like this, you can also double tap to rotate it to 90 degrees. Number four, if you're using a smaller iPad, so my iPad is 12.9 inch, but if you're using a 10 inch or a less small iPad and you want more real estate to see more of your drawing without the clutter of the tools around the iPad, you can use four fingers just to tap it once. And this is going to hide the menu that you're currently seeing. Tip number five, anytime you wanna move the drawing away from the paper or to move the trace paper to maybe slightly off to the right or the left, what you can do with the portfolio trace is you can either use the scale and place function, and this is going to have you move the paper to somewhere else. You can also scale it with both of your finger. So this is the control within this menu. You can also do is use three fingers to gently drag this paper off the page like this. And hopefully you can see that the paper, the trace layer that I have currently on the most top layer, you can move it somewhere else. And this is useful in certain kinds of situations, but not all the time. So you will find a place to use this at some point in your workflow. Number six, this is more of a useful thing that you may want to consider. So as you can see, this is actually a case study file that I've used in my masterclass. But you can see that there are a lot of layers in here. And when you are having a lot of layers like this, you might be starting to see the outline of the, each layer as a shadow like this. So if I zoom in a little bit, you can see that there's a bit of the shadow um, along the outside edges of the trace. And this is to indicate the size of the trace. But if you don't want to see that for presentation purpose, or if you just wanted to make the drawing a little bit nicer to look at when you're drawing it yourself, what you can do is you can go into your setting under preference and you can toggle the layer drop shadow off. And now you're not gonna be able to see the layer box boundary and you can present it to a client in a much nicer way. And you still use the layers to turn on and off. I found this really, really useful. Oh, I can see my dog drinking. Are you done, Jasper? Okay. Last useful tip that Mofolio Trace hasn't done a great job with their menu or the helpful section is the cut and paste. Now, there isn't a merge function in Mofolio Trace like Procreate where you can just merge all the layers into one layer. To do the similar thing, you have to perform this cut and paste function in Mofolio Trace. So the first thing you have to do is select the line using your selection tool. Now, now that you have the content or the drawing or any part of the graphic you have selected, you'll, you'll see that it's highlighted in the layer panel as the layer that you're currently on. So to move it to a different layer, think of it as merging it to a different layer, you have to tap it to the layer that you want to move it to. So let's pretend I'm going to move it to this layer with a little bit of trees drawn on it. I'm going to double tap on this layer and you'll see what happens next. If I double tap on that layer, what I essentially have done is it has moved the content away from this top layer. As you can see, if I turn this off, the red line is actually on this green tree layer. So this is the only way that I know how to really merge in cut and paste way to combine drawing and files to a single layer. Now I wish there was an easier way to do this. Hopefully Morfolio Trace will come out with a better function that does the same thing in the future.